Hello there everyone, my name is Lordbot and welcome back to another world edit tutorial. If you missed the other ones, make sure to go check them out. Card on screen. It's been a minute since the last world edit tutorial and we actually covered a lot in this series. But today we're going to be covering something that's really, really big. It's going to be a bit of a shorter video. So, so yeah, don't forget to go ahead and leave a like on the video. And without further ado, let's get right into it. Today we're going to be talking about schematics. What is a, a schematic? Well... A schematic is a very easy way to take to take a build and do one of two things with it. One is to make it into a kind of permanent clipboard that you can always go back on without having to recopy it over and over. And two is to move a build actually using world edit between multiple worlds. So this is really easy to do. And so first let's go ahead and let's just grab ourselves a wand. So let's say we want to make a schematic of this house. So let's go ahead and let's just find a good starting position. We'll go like this. We'll make our selection around it. Try and keep your selection pretty close to it. I think this is good. We're going to just write position two. Remember copying. We're going to do that same thing. So I'm just going to stand here right in front of the door. Slash slash copy. Now, usually if I wanted to move this house somewhere, I would just write slash slash paste. Now, we can do that. That works just fine, but that's not what we want to do. We want to write slash slash schematic. And now we want to write save. And now we want to write the name of what we want to name it. So let's call it house, house 01 in case, you know, we can have several different houses that we want so now it's going to take whatever is in our clipboard which is what we have currently copied and save it into a schematic so now if we press enter so now if, if we press enter it'll save the schematic if you already have a schematic with that name all you do is write negative f at the end and it will override it i already had a schematic with that name on slash slash schematic schematic and then we'll write load and now we can write house 01 and press enter so now it's loaded. So now we can do slash slash paste. And we'll have house 01. R remember where you copied it at. So let's just sh show off this sort of permanent clip clipboard style thing here. So I have another house. It's very similar, but it's a little bit spookier, I'd say. So let's go ahead and make our selection. We'll get our first position. Try not to get this other house in there. Get our second position. Now we'll, we'll go over here. And we'll do slash slash copy. We'll do slash slash schematic. Save. House. O2. And then we'll press enter. That's in our clipboard right now. If we just maybe move up here really quick and go slash slash paste. It'll paste that house because that's what we copied last. But we can go slash slash schematic load house 01 enter slash slash paste. And now we have house one and we didn't have to go copy it again. And we can, you know, load house 02 slash slash paste. And now we have house number two. So now. Let's talk about the second nice feature of schematics. Let's just use the example of making a map, okay? And you have a second creative world that you use just for testing build ideas. And let's say you really nail it. Let's say these two houses are just exactly what you're looking for. So you want them in your map. So let's just, uh, let's just go out of there. We'll just make a new world. We'll call this uh schematic test so this is our you know our map that we're working on it's very interesting there's a lot of cool stuff so let's just go create the world okay so we just spawned into our world it's beautiful it's great you know nice little island start uh nice horizon there so now we want to load in our schematic so let's just find a place so let's do slash slash load uh sl slash slash schematic rather you can write slash slash schem and it has all of the same things so we're going to do load and write house 01 
enter, slash slash paste. Amazing. And now we just pasted our house and we can go inside and look and see. I still haven't added an interior to it. So now we can, uh, you know, just kind of bridge out a little bit. We can do the same command, but let's load house two. Let's go slash slash paste. And boom. Now we have house two as well. Beautiful. Beautiful. Nice uh, island home there. Island neighbor. Pretty great. Um, so that's pretty much how you do it. There's a few other commands here. I'll go ahead and show you really quickly. Um, so we have slash slash schem or schematic. Either one works. You can write list and it will list all of your schematics you have. So we see there uh, house of one and house of two. We can also do formats and it will tell us different formats, but uh, it automatically saves it as .schem files. I'll show you just here very quickly uh, in a moment how to find those schem files. So now there's also uh, there's also delete and then you type in the name like we wanted to delete house 01. We would do that, but I don't want to delete that schematic. Um, so to find your schematics, because they do save to your computer, you have to go into your .minecraft folder in app data. So you can go navigate there or easily you can just go to options resource packs hit open resource pack folder and now in here um, I'm launching it out of world edit instead of vanilla minecraft but the folder is the same you would go into this would be your dot minecraft folder where you have your screenshots and your shader packs your saves mods resource packs so on so on you would go into this config you would double click world edit you double click schematics and here is house one here is house two you can uh move them to a different folder if you want you can i guess copy them and paste it and so then uh if you were to do house two house o2 dash dash copy then it would um then it would load that um but yeah that's how you do that's how you do that. Anyway, though, if you like the video, go ahead and leave a like. If you really like it, of course, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, make sure to go down in the d in the description below. Check out my links. Check out my Twitter. All those great things. I'm trying to kind of get back in the groove of posting on Instagram some more. So, yeah, if you want to go check out some memes on Instagram, go check out that. If you want to get more info on when videos are dropping, make sure to go check out Twitter. If you want to never miss when a video drops, make sure you hit that notification bell as well. And we are at 81 subscribers right now. We are so close, so close to 100. So I'm already planning my 100 sub special. If you have any good ideas for that, go ahead and drop those in the comments below or tweet them at me. I have one thing in store. What do I have in store? Well, that's just the thing. I can't tell you. It's, uh, mm, yeah, can't tell you. <coughs> Merch drop. Can't tell you. But anyway, this has been Lord Bud, and until next time, goodbye, everybody.